<coughs> me, 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 me. What's up and good morning, guys? Well, should we say afternoon? It is afternoon. What's up and good afternoon, guys? Welcome back to another video. We've got a, a special guest coming to the warehouse today. It's not me. It's not Chris. And it is about time we do some more modifications to the SEMA Tahoe, which you can see right through the little doors right there. Maybe not, it's probably too bright. But we really do need to buckle down and get cranking on this thing, um, cause SEMA's gonna come a lot quicker than I think even I'm anticipating. And I don't really have like the greatest game plan for it. So we're kind of winging a lot of stuff as we go. But I wanted to get what we're gonna do done today before uh, I drop the Tahoe off next week at the Vinyl Guy Shop and uh, get some stuff done to it. I don't know if I've told you guys exactly what we're doing, but you'll have to stay tuned for that. Chris is in the shop right now playing uh, interior decorator organizer. As you guys can see, we've got uh, a lot more sets of tires going on in here than we really know what to do with. And then with all of our U-line orders coming in, um, it's kind of a mess in here and we need to make some room. I'm thinking we're gonna just back my truck up and pull the Tahoe in, that way we can work on it, but and we gotta find somewhere to put the ping pong table. Yes, I know, I need to get rid of the Mercedes. It's coming, eventually. We're gonna be getting rid of it soon. Give it away. <laughs> Should we give it away? Do you come with it? Okay, all right, we, can we give it away and you get to hang out with Chris for a day? Dude, nobody wants to hang out with me. No, are you kidding me, bro? You're the most popular guy on the channel. Everybody wants to hang out with you. I own too many tires. I don't know, hold on, this one over well, here. these are for sale. These are for sale. If anybody wants to buy these, let me know. I need to get them out of the warehouse. 40, 15, 5, 24s on some drop star forged wheel. Uh, make me an offer I can't refuse. Serious buyers. Just DM me. Ryan, right, Chris, Ryan won't answer. Chris will deal with the, the brokerage of that. And then uh, Duramax Barbecue. I know you sold your truck, but can you please come get your spare tire? I wonder if any of the neighbors that don't exactly know what we do here think we're running a chop shop. I mean, we've got the exhaust section over there, bumper section over here running boards, tires. So the majority of the big boxes that are in here right now are all parts for the Tahoe. So hopefully today we can get rid of some of these. And then, you know, we've got some factory OBS parts and no, I'm not selling that because if I ever buy another OBS that's cooler than the OBS that I currently have, I'm going to end up swapping the center console um, into that truck and then this will go back into the uh, current OBS. He doesn't like you, dude. You don't, spend, <laughs> you don't ever spend money with him. So he doesn't like oh, you. that has nothing to do with it. Oh. It's he the, just, he looked occupied. I don't want that's to look. fair. His everybody. Hand, his hands are dirty right now, okay? Everybody, say hi to Zach. Hi, everybody. This is what Zach looks like in like normal street clothes, clean. Kind of. This is rare. Kind of. Can we get you dirty today? Maybe. Is that the first time you've ever been asked that? No. <laughs> <laughs> Well guys, you're probably thinking things are a little bit weird, being that uh, I'm in a different outfit today than I was yesterday, and is the man, hey. Zach, over there. Uh, unfortunately, last night we didn't really end up working on the Tahoe like we had anticipated, but uh, hey, we're back today. Dude, it's time for a little, a new terminal there, huh? That's a... Yeah, don't look at him, okay? Oh, okay. Don't look too closely <laughs> under the hood of your truck. What is that? We gave her a little bit more fuel pressure, see if oh. it fixes it. How come I don't have one of those? I need one. Because you didn't want to do it. Oh, all right. I will say, though, Chris kind of did a decent job yesterday. Um, organizing a bunch of stuff. We got a pile of trash boxes that needs to go out. All the Tahoe stuff, so hopefully all those boxes are gone today. And shoot, even uh, pretty much cleaned most of the crap up off this workbench. We still got a bunch of Duramax barbecues, fittings for all those airlines and stuff like that for the train horn setup. So uh, of course it wouldn't be uh, our style if, if we had yeah. everything we needed yeah, today. if we didn't forget something. Uh, so apparently I forgot the keys to the BBB. So Chris is bringing them right now so we can actually move this out of the way bring the Tahoe inside. I'm gonna actually just hose the Tahoe off right now because like I showed you guys the other day, it is absolutely disgusting and it's got gnarly spider webs and I don't want Zach to get attacked by a tarantula. Spiders don't work. No, no spiders? You never had any spiders growing in the beard? Oh, definitely have had spiders on me, but I'm not a fan. Well, the good news is Chris showed up pretty quick with the keys for the old BBB. The Tahoe is nice and clean, kinda. Still needs a a clay bar on the hood here. This thing's pretty bad. It kind of lives underneath the tree, so I think it's safe to say once we get this thing built for uh, SEMA, it's time to live in a garage. Let's get the BBB fired up. All right, let's get to work, boys. 36 hours later. Right, this is like probably one of the cleanest vehicles you're gonna work on. So, what we're gonna be doing today, well, me and Zach are gonna be doing, Chris is, what, what are you doing, buddy? Supervising. Supervising, all right. We're going to be swapping out the headlights and the taillights on the Tahoe here with the new Anzo lights that we got, because if you guys don't know already, we're going to be in Anzo's booth for SEMA. Then, we've got the Canaan intake, which is uh, right there over Chris's uh, right shoulder. 
that would be left to you guys on camera. There you go, Chris. Great job pointing. So we'll get the uh, the intake installed. Get rid of this big old plenum. That's a plenum. You sure? Yeah. Do you know why it has a box like that? Because it's a plenum. No. I don't know why. Why? why so when you open the throttle, it doesn't starve for air. It's a, it's a reservoir for air. Oh, then how come that one doesn't have a box? Because it's custom and awesome and intakey. Oh, okay. You heard it here first. Custom, <laughs> awesome, and intakey. So that should be pretty easy. It's essentially the same setup that uh, I installed on Chris's truck properly, by the way. Not my fault it made your truck slower. One thing we're going to have um, done on the Tahoe here is we're going to end up painting this grill black. Now, Zach, I know you're not used to this world, but this right here, this is a nice Husky toolbox. Oh, I know. I they know. They make nice toolboxes. You're still stuck in the snap-on world. Let nice. me show you something about luxury. Well, I do like, you know, the, right. the butcher block top. We got the plastic cover off. Looks like uh, GM's using the really cheap masking tape here for some reason. I'm not really sure why. Zach's working on taking the fender liner off because apparently to remove these headlights, you gotta remove the bumper. Another great GM uh, thing, like trying to remove the lights out of this truck, you gotta essentially pull the whole front of the truck apart. Now the joys of working on big lifted trucks is it's really easy to get inside and pull the fender liners out. Whereas, you know, now that we're living the, the kind of lowered life over here, getting in there is a little bit more of a pain in the butt. You gotta turn the tires to be able to get to your stuff. Lowered life, that's stock. <laughs> it's stock two wheel drive height. Yeah, that's lowered life for me. Okay. Husky toolboxes, Milwaukee tools. This is what it's like, Zach, to be a, a mechanic. Oh, there you go. Yep. You get a massage. <laughs> All right, now it just got weird. <laughs> well, we're working on getting the grill off now. If we could see, oh, those, those big clips down there look fun. Yeah. So I stocked up on a lot of like really random tools off of Amazon, just like a little, I don't even know where it went, a little pick set, a bunch of, somewhere, I don't know. We got some like long reach pliers, just a bunch of cheap stuff that like, you know, you might need one day. Oh, it's all the way in the back. There it is, all the way in the look back. Look at that. Oh. Look at that. Look, there's that. Look at the pony. El Tudemus uh, Porsche Rari edition pick set. That's like Boxo Tools with the pre-cut foam. I like it. Chris working hard on the background there. You can at least hold the flashlight for Zach, dude. I got him over here. Oh, what do you got? All set up here, Zach. You got your sweet headlight from Chris. Add I think there's more holding it than just those. Oh, I'm scared to break these things on these cars. I hate clips. It's like a part of the freaking bumper shell. So what it's looking like is this grill is actually, you see when we pull it on it at the bottom there, like it's actually part of this painted piece that goes over top of the bumper. So I think you gotta pull the whole thing off with the bumper and then there might be screws to separate the two on the back. I don't know. Well, the uh, skid plate had to come off. Zach's still working on trying to get the bumper portion off of the front end here, which is, you know, giant pain in the butt. Especially considering we don't have a lift here, so trying to crawl up underneath this thing is not easy. Um, there's a bunch of stuff under here. Oh joy. <laughs> it's picking the right part to not take off and the right stuff to take off. This might be it. Oh no, I'm excited. Maybe. Oh, no. That's not it. It's not it. Not it. Woo! There she is, boys. There she is. All right, we've got a full front end. What is this? This thing's so floppy, dude. So, all these clips is what's holding the grill in. Oh, joy. And those, like, break easily. You just gotta be careful. So, Zach already told me I have to drive to the wrap shop like this because he doesn't want to have to put this thing back on and take it back off. Yeah, no, I'm gonna. <laughs> so I guess it's our new look from now on. It's uh, really easy now to get to the headlights because I think it's just three bolts. One there, one there, one there. Oh, got the one Oh, and I guess there's four bolts. Don't forget the one. Oh, uh, well that one's already out. All right. One headlight off. All right, replacement headlight going in. See, got all the bolts in it? Should. Huh, look at that, plug and play. There we go. All right. Headlight number one, in place. Let's test it, see if they work. Right. Zach, can you, can you see, buddy? <laughs> Do they work? It works. It works. All right, we sick, we retain a halogen bulb. Awesome. Those halos look kind of cool, though. Classy, bro. Ooh, that's nice. I gotta say, I do like the fact that it, it is plug and play, other than you're still stuck with halogen bulbs, but I mean, the factory ones have halogen bulbs in them as well, anyways. But that does make it nice. Not like the old days where you have to buy new headlights and you gotta buy like, Four different bulbs. Chris is digging in the box, get the next headlight out. I gotta say, Anzo's packaging is really nice as well. Well, we've got both headlights in. 
Now uh, the fun part here of getting the k and intake installed. So Zach's starting to, I don't know what Zach's doing. He's hanging out in the wheel well. Yeah, playing down here. Oh, he's playing down there. I think I'm just going to take these hinder fenders out. out. Dual PCVs, that's good stuff right there. Uh -huh. Yep, quality. Because why run one? When you can run two, there we go. have two. This is the way we deep plen them. Look at that, so much room for activities now. I don't play with the butterfly valve don't with your hand. Don't touch it. Everybody got mad at me for that. Not touch well, The instructions said to do it. It's not that bag of a deal. Well, we got all the old stuff stripped. This is going a lot quicker than when I did it. Well done. Uh, dude, what? how long did it take you to do mine? Yeah, like two hours. Did it really? Maybe. I think it was a little long. That's, that's camera magic, two hours. <laughs> yeah. Pulling out the uh, mass airflow sensor. Cool. Look at that, you see that? Dude, you're learning. All right. So while Zach's over there working on that, let's see if uh, we got room, we got clearance. Oh. All right, we're good. Really? Like, even the tail lights are a pain in the butt to get to? I was thinking it's gonna be like a nice bolt right there, like the trucks. Well, I'm guessing this piece has to come off, which means this thing has to come off. Contiendo a uh, presión. Chris, contiendo a uh, presión. No, that's not in there. I'm scared to pull off the contendio a uh, presiones. It means uh, contents under pressure. Well, see, it has it in English too, if you guys didn't know. Oh, okay. I was, <laughs> I was only reading the yeah, contendio. And then, and then it's even got, it's got it in all the different languages. Oh, does it have it in uh, they Swahili? Sell. Yeah, now that I'm seeing that, it's looking like it's even more of a pain in the butt. Mm -hmm. I had just seen uh, those earlier. Thought mm -hmm. we were gonna get off pretty easy. Hey, yeah. these are not 24 volt. Nope. Okay, they are 12 volts. So we've got the uh, box cracked open of all the K&N parts over here. And the most important thing being in California is we got our, uh, if it'll focus there, our carb compliant sticker. And apparently K&N now does uh, air filters for your house. But don't worry, just because we have the California carb compliant sticker doesn't mean it doesn't cause cancer in California. We've got the, the cancer warning right there, so we're good. Well, the new air box is going in. Zach had to remove the factory bottom plate. I don't even know where it's at. It's in our pile. Oh, it's in the box. So I did a little uh, YouTubing on figuring out how to get these tail lights off. Apparently all you gotta really do is pull this plastic piece off right here and then that gives you access to everything. So let's see if that works. There we go. I also bought one of these little body panel polar tool things off of Amazon. So these are nice to have. All right, well now we've got access. So let's see what happens if it's really this easy. Wish me luck. There we go. I just hate stuff that pops in. Like I'm always worried about breaking. All right, that probably makes sense. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, one more, one more. Feels a lock one way, unlock that way. Gotta make the noise. The noise has helped you. You got this, buddy. Come on. That booger's on there tight, huh? Is it unplugged down there? Yep, yeah, so uh, apparently you don't need to pull these out. You just unclip the wire harness from underneath the, uh, the Tahoe there, and the new one just plugs right in. And they got the, looks like the load resistors are already attached, so that's nice. So we're gonna get this area a little cleaned up in here. We'll shove that down in the hole. New tail light going in. All right, we got the second light installed here. For some reason, this one had three load resistors on it while the other one only had two. So I don't know if there's something weird with the computer that this side has more power, less power. I have no clue what I'm talking about. You gotta find us a nice spot to mount these load resistors. Now all that's left to do is test the tail lights. Chris, can you uh, do the honors for us? I do like their little LED strip in there because it matches the third brake light up top right there. Now that we got those done, let's go check on our buddy Zach. Zach's apparently living under the hood. Zach, what are you doing, buddy? Gotta get that lever in, man. We got a ladder and a bucket or something if you want to stand on. Yeah, well, the intake is all done and wrapped up. Zach did it about, about as quick as I did it, so you know he, he's pretty good at what he does. Well done, buddy. Well done. Easy, Chris. You see that? Watch out, Wes coming for you. Is, it, is he really here, Chris, or are we seeing things? I think we're seeing things. I think we're I mean, seeing things. I didn't things. notice enough. Let's see. That's true. Yeah. I did I not. I don't, feel, I don't <laughs> yeah. feel anything. I don't know. Is it really? Oh, wait, get a Dang. mirror. Get a mirror. Get a mirror. You better be sure. Well, you know, if you can see him right in the mirror. Try, try right. the one on the truck. Right. Let's if, see. If you can see him in the mirror, All right. Right. Let's then see you know he's not a vampire. 
I don't see him. I don't see him. I don't see him. <laughs> I don't see him. He's kind of too short. <laughs> What's up, Dave? Good to see you, buddy. Thanks, man. It's uh, good to be back at World Headquarters 2.0, considering you were illegally dumping in my dumpster. <laughs> There's nothing illegal about that. I don't have the code. Oh, okay. Fair. Well, hey, buddy, give us a quick update on your life. Why hasn't anybody seen you? Everybody's been looking for you. My woman got a job, right? Yep. Which you think, you know, there was some discussion there, like just take the lottery winnings. Yeah. But being the type of genitalia that I have, it brought out the competitive spirit in me. Fair. So, so now I'm basically like... Working real hard to make sure that I make more <laughs> than she does. Two so eventually the Ryan and Dave show will be back together with some more construction stuff, but we're kind of busy right now. The world's trying to pull us apart, but we're going to force ourselves back together. Good luck, world. Oh, you too. You got, you got Brian here too? We was keeping school on the train, back and trying to see my mate. What's up, buddy? We was in the hood, sitting back, showing choppers out and floating around and trying to pull out this helicopter. Apparently Chris is uh, giving demos today. Did he offer you a demo? See, like, this is a situation my dad warned me about. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you ever see this happening, like, don't. Don't like, in, don't, don't get in the truck with him? Like, don't hang out with yeah. I mean, you gotta, you gotta watch who your friends are. What? What's growing on Chris's wheel? Oh, dude. <laughs> what we got? We got some, some snail. Dude, you need to drive this thing, bro. Should, and really, it's like you a, go dude, you took that thing for a spin. It's like a you petrified snail. That snail's been there for a while, too. Oh. oh no, he's still alive. We can save him. He I do gotta say, he hey, was holding on for dear life. I appreciate everybody showing up today and some work for it gear. Looking right? great, boys. Looking yeah. great. This trucks looks like my truck. You, hey man, you play football? Of course. A little bit. Dang. We're ballers. You don't play football. <laughs> you don't even run. Like you don't even. <laughs> I know. Let's see. Throw him. A, throw him a pass. Second string. Uh, Let's see. Bench warmer. I have a little. What? Garlic sauce on my fingers and it's... Oh, okay. Oh, now, let's see. Let's see if you're, you're a real baller over here. Hold on, the sun's in the way. No, there ain't no sun. You're in the shade. All right, right here. Right no, here. you gotta go further than that. No, no, let me get a warm-up. <laughs> All right, I think we've hit your guys' uh, range limit there. Oh, I'll keep going. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Wes, you gotta run, bro. Hustle. Well, the last step of the day here is pulling off the little grill surround so we can take it to the painter and get it painted white. Or black, I should say. Oh, oh, one more. Here we go. Look at that, Amazon hook, coming in clutch right there, maybe. Hold on, last one's gonna fight us, it's binding. You got it. Oh, one, you wanna put this on your wall? You like my GMC wrecked? grill? Well guys, all right, the Tahoe is all wrapped up for today. This is gonna be uh, basically how I'm gonna be driving it in the next uh, day or so when we take it to the wrap shop. I don't wanna exactly reveal what we're gonna be doing wrap-wise on it, but it's something I've wanted to do on a vehicle for a very long time. I actually wanted to do it to the BBB here, but this truck, uh, it just it doesn't really fit the look of that truck, so. All the boys are uh, upstairs. Everybody's watching some UFC. Well, Wes is coaching everybody on some uh, some UFC. Not only does he know the part numbers, he knows everything UFC. Not everything. Go ahead, Wes. Who's your favorite fighter? My favorite fighter? I, I, I like he Daniel was, Cormier. I like Daniel Cormier a lot. I know he has a lot of haters. Zach, who's your favorite? Whoever wins. There you go. So, all right, guys. With that, we're going to wrap up this video. Um, if you guys are following any of us on Instagram, you would have seen that we just all did some, uh, some arm wrestling and... It didn't go so well for some of us. If you guys aren't following us on Instagram, you missed out. But regardless, uh, everybody, Instagram. Slim Bill, underscore in the middle. DBayla619. Dobbins, Z71. SoCal underscore 6.2. Yeah. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please leave the subscribe button now that we do not miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workforitapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you gotta be willing to work for it. You guys are the best. Um, Zach, like, there might be a big announcement coming soon, right? A little bit. Maybe. Maybe. Stay tuned for that if you guys are wondering why we're seeing Zach around here. We'll see. Maybe. I don't know. Zach, take it. Roll the outro. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.